In this problem, we are provided with two geometric progressions. One is 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and the other one is 128, 32, 8, 2, and half. But we need to find out the sum of the products of the corresponding terms of the sequence. Meaning, we'll consider the first term of the first sequence, that's 2, and multiply it to the first term of the second sequence, which is 128. So this will get added to the product between the two second terms of the two sequences. So we have 4 times 32. This is going to be the second term. The third term is going to be 8 multiplied to 8. The fourth term is going to be 16 multiplied to 2. This will be finally added to the last term, which is 32 multiplied to 1 half, which means we have 2 times 128, so that's 256. This will be added to the second term, which is 4 times 32, so that's 128. Plus 8 times 8, so that's 64. Plus 16 times 2, that's 32, and half of 32 is 16. We need to find out the sum. So let's call it as 5 because we have 5 terms here. We will use the formula for finding out the sum, which is given by Sn equals to A times 1 minus R raised to the power of N divided by 1 minus R. The reason we're using 1 minus R raised to the power of N here, that's because if we calculate the common ratio of the given series, the R will be, will take 128 and divide it by 256. So this is 1 over 2, which is less than 1. So this particular sum holds for values of R less than 1. Our first term, that's 256. So we'll substitute this value into our equation. So we have 256 multiplied to 1 minus half raised to the power of 5, all divided by 1 minus half. The 1 minus half, that's half. So half will go to the numerator and get multiplied with 256. This is going to give us a value 512, which will be multiplied to 1 minus 1 over 2 raised to the power of 5. So that's 32, which will be equals to, so we have 512 divided by 32, so that's 16. 16 multiplied to 31, and this gives us a final value of 496.